in lesson 11, we're going to take a look at perpendicular lines in a plane. So go ahead and on page 83, apply um, this transformation rule to the quadrilateral plotted there and then decide if you can tell what the effect was. So what is the actual transformation? So one strategy is to fill out all of these ordered pairs. So you can come up with all the ordered pairs of A, B, C, and D, and then write down the new ones for A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, plot them. So once you've completed that, come back to the video. All right, so we can apply um, these rules. So this just says x is going to x y is going to map to the opposite of y x. So the x and y are actually going to switch places. So we're going to take the first blank here is going to be the opposite of the y term. So the opposite of zero is zero. Second one is going to be the x term from the original point. For B, we'll do the opposite of Y first. So negative two, the opposite of negative two is positive two. And then we will take the X term exactly how it was. Opposite of zero is zero. Take the X exactly like it is. Opposite of two is negative two. Take the X exactly like it is. And then plot these new points. So we will um, plot the point 0, 0, 2, 5, 0, 6, and negative 2, 5. And then you can connect those so you can see what um, transformation happened. And I would also label them so that you can see um, the order of the letters. So this was A prime. 2, 5 was B prime, 0, 6 was C prime, and negative 2, 5 was D prime. So um, what was the effect of the transformation? So it looks like it's just a rotation um, 90 degrees. So rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise. And you can see that better um, if you wanted to kind of connect the image to the pre-image. So if we took and connected to the center of rotation, so the one that's staying the same as the center, and then connected um, the image to the pre-image, you can see that 90 degree angle happening there. We could do that with C prime to the origin and then the origin to C. Um, we could do that with B as well, but then you can kind of see the angle happening there. So connecting to um, the center of rotation and we can see kind of all of those 90 degree angles there. So rotation 90 degrees oops, um, counterclockwise. All right, and then there's just another diagram of it. So you can see it a little bit closer and you can see putting those lines on. So now if we extended the lines that went through um, the center of rotation, so extending what I just kind of wrote there, then we can start to see that now we have those perpendicular lines and perpendicular lines is what we're gonna be looking at today. So the um, image and the pre-image connected, or the original and the image connecting are going to make that 90 degree angle. All right, so then let's take a look um, on page 84. So now using that diagram, so using your filled in portion there, um, figure out the slope of the original sides and then figure out the slope of the image sides and then find their product, which means to multiply them. So go ahead, count rise over run. Um, so rise over run, remember that if you, when you're moving left to right, so when we're moving this direction, if it's going up, it's positive. If it's going down, it's negative. So be careful with the positives and negatives there. So figure out those slopes, multiply them, and then come back to the video. Okay. 
All right, so um, first slope here, negative two, five we get. And then let me see, I'm gonna move this up a little because I think my stuff is gonna be off. So let's go like this. All right, next slope for BC up to over one. CD was down to over one. So that's that negative slope. And then um, DA or AD up to over five. Image, so A prime B is up five over two. B C, B prime C prime, okay, so it would be up one over two, but negative, okay, because it's going down this way. So we could start at C and go down one over two. C D, down one over two. Um, but this one's going down one negative two. So this one's a positive slope because, again, it's going up left to right. So if we look at it this way, so this is a positive slope versus this one's a negative slope. And then um, DA. So up five over two, but negative. So then let's multiply these together and you can use your calculator for this or you can um, remember how to multiply fractions is multiplying the tops times the tops, bottoms times the bottoms. So this would be negative 10 divided by 10, which is negative one. Negative two divided by two, which is negative one. Negative two divided by two, which is negative one. Negative 10 divided by positive 10, which is negative 1. So if we know that these are um, perpendicular, right? So AB, so AB and A prime, B prime make a 90 degree angle. And then this was the product um, BC. So if we were to connect the line BC, um, to the line B prime, C prime. So if we were to extend this, okay, they would make a 90 degree angle and they multiplied to negative one, C, D, and C prime, D prime. Um, so making a conjecture that perpendicular lines have what type of slope and what is the product of them. So these are opposite signs. So this is negative and positive, positive and negative, negative and positive. So these have opposite reciprocal, and then they're flips. So opposite, and then they're the flip of each other. So this is two over five, five over two. Two over one, one over two. Two over one, one over two. Two over five, five over two. So those are called reciprocals. So the perpendicular lines have opposite and reciprocal slopes that results in a product or a multiplication of negative one. So if you multiply the slopes together, um, they will be negative one is what it's looking like here. So let's take um, a look at proving it. So find the slope of a line and this starts on page 84. So find the slope of a line passing through the point AB and the origin. Remember that the origin um, is the point zero, zero. So to find the slope of any line, remember to find the rise, we subtract the Y values. So we would do B minus zero to get the rise. And that would just be B. So our rise would be B. And then to get the run or the width, that would be subtracting our x's, so that would be a minus zero, so that would just be a. So the slope of that line is just b over a. Suppose the line um, is rotated using the transformation xy maps to opposite xy. So find the coordinates of the image of a, b, and the origin. So let's use the rule. And so the rule says that we're going to take the opposite of Y first. So here's the Y. The opposite of Y would be opposite B. And then we're going to take the X. So the X is A. 
And if we translated 0, 0 using that rule, the opposite of 0 is just 0. And then we would take this 0. So here would be our new translated image points. So how does the original line relate to the image? So remember this rule was the one we looked at on the front side that gave us perpendicular lines or a 90 degree rotation. So perpendicular. So the lines would be perpendicular to each other. And then let's actually find the slope of this new set of points. So remember to find the slope. So let me just write those points down here. So we're gonna be looking at opposite BA um, and zero, zero. So remember to find the rise, we would subtract the Y values. So we would be doing A minus zero. So the rise on this one would be A. And then the width or the run, we would subtract the X's. So that's gonna be negative B minus zero, which is just gonna be negative B or opposite of B. So the slope here would be A over negative B. Um, so what did we just find out? So let's take a look at our two slopes. So the original one up here, so our first slope um, was B over A. And now our new slope is A over opposite B. So those are the two slopes we're comparing. I didn't write that very well. Let me rewrite it. All right, so our first one was B over A. And then now our, our rotation is A over opposite B. So we see that they are opposite signs. So the slopes are opposites and they're the flip of each other. So they just flipped places. So A went to top, B went to bottom. So they are opposite reciprocals, which means that they are perpendicular. All right, so can your proof for lines through the origin be extended to other lines that don't pass through the origin? Yes, because we would just be um, subtracting different letters. So if we did like an A, B, and we did an X, Y, the idea would still be the same. So we would end up subtracting these for the rise, subtracting these for the run. And then when we translate them, we would get perpendicular lines and end up um, with those opposite reciprocal slopes again. So what's the difference between what we did in the previous activity um, and what we did in this one? So what's the, what's the difference? So in the previous activity, we were looking at specific slopes. So we actually looked at specific examples here and then actually multiplied to come up with all of the information. So we knew that the lines were perpendicular. We looked at their slope and found out. And then in this one, we used um, a point in general, so not specific ones. So we proved it for any line. And then let's actually write the equation of a line that passes through this point using a perpendicular slope. So remember perpendicular is going to be opposite reciprocal slope. So let's find the slope. So here's the slope. Um, and so I like to write then this perpendicular M. So M is for slope. So perpendicular slope is going to be, we're going to do the reciprocal and the opposite. This is positive two sevenths. So we're going to be using negative seven halves. And then we're going to plug into point slope form. So y minus the y coordinate of the point equals the slope times x minus the x coordinate. So our perpendicular slope is negative 7 halves. And then the point that we want it to go through, the x coordinate is negative 9. So we'll plug in negative 9 here. And then the y coordinate is 3. So y minus the y coordinate equals the perpendicular slope times x minus the x coordinate.
so let's write an equation for any line perpendicular to um, this one. So go ahead uh, and find the slope. So the slope here would be up one over four. So our slope of this one is one over four. So write an equation for any line perpendicular to L and sketch a graph of the line. So you can pick any line you want. Um, and so your line is just going to have to have a slope of, so the perpendicular slope to one fourth is the opposite, so negative, and then the reciprocal, so negative four over one, which is negative four. So you can write any equation you want. It just has to have a slope of negative four. So we could do y equals um, negative four x minus five if I wanted. And this one's in slope intercept form. So I would go to a y intercept of negative five. And then I would do a slope of negative four. So I'm actually going to go up four and to the left one. Up four, one, two, three, four to the left. And then you can plot um, or draw the line. Okay, and that would be perpendicular to that line. And again, you could write any other one as long as it has a slope of four, negative four, it's gonna be perpendicular to this line. And you could do it in slope intercept form like this. You could also do y minus the y coordinate of wherever you want it to go equals x minus the x coordinate and just make sure that you have a slope of negative four here. So if you wanted it to go through um, this point, Okay, so that would be the point seven one. So if we want it to go through the point seven one, we would just do y minus one equals negative four x minus seven, and that would be this line going through seven one with a slope of negative four. All right, so get this written on your reference chart that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So in the previous lesson, we learned parallel lines have the same slope. Now we're looking at perpendicular lines having opposite reciprocal slopes. Make sure you get both, both opposite and reciprocal. All right, so then in the lesson summary, some things to highlight. Um, so we have this diagram. All line segments in the image are perpendicular to the corresponding segment in the original triangle because it's a rotation of 90. Okay, so the corresponding AB with its A prime, B prime is going to have a 90 degree angle there. So if we were to look at the slopes, okay, you could come up with the slope of AB is two fifths. And the slope of a prime or a b prime is negative five halves. When we multiply those, they're going to be negative one. Then we would know they're perpendicular. Um, you could also look at that they're opposite reciprocals. Okay, so opposite reciprocals always have a product of negative one. And when you write equations of perpendicular lines, then make sure you change the slope. Okay, so if the given slope is three and you're writing it of a perpendicular line, you need to make sure you plug in the opposite reciprocal slope immediately. So go ahead and try this cool down and make sure if you have any questions on it or you're struggling that you reach out to your teacher.